everybody. Welcome to the Maker Bus. My name is Dr. Joel Bischoff and I am the instructor on the Maker Bus. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about how the Maker Bus was made, what do we use the Maker Bus for, and really importantly, what it means to be a maker. A couple of years ago, this bus was just a regular school bus that was dropped off at the high school with rows and rows of seats and a floor that could have used a little bit of extra work. So myself and a couple of other student volunteers from the high school ripped up all of the seats, ripped out the floor, and replaced it with some things that you would see more at home in a school maker space. In addition to fixing things that needed some help, we also put in workbenches, a giant toolbox, a TV, electric, lights, as well as a lift gate for lifting really heavy things to get them up into the bus and an awning that we put on the outside of the bus for those really nice days that we just need a little bit of shade. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what it means to be a maker. This is the Ephrata Area School District's maker bus. So being a maker is really important to me and it's something that I wanna try and teach you how to do. Now being a maker doesn't always mean that you just use your hands to make things, but it can also mean that you use tools like a 3D printer or actual tools like sanders and screwdrivers and hammers and glue to put something together, but it could also mean something like software or a code or a game that you build on the computer. All of those things have something in common. A lot of the stuff that we have to do to make things means that we are going to have to use something called the four C's. The four C's are communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. So even if it's just building something out of Lego, you're going to need to use your creativity and your critical thinking to figure out what's the best way to put the pieces together. Or you might actually be using communication to read a set of instructions or to look at pictures, or maybe even collaboration where it means working with somebody else, where you share your ideas and then you get feedback for what looks good, maybe what could be better, or how you could fix a problem that you might be seeing. And because we're Effort of Mountaineers, we know that we are gonna to have to work really hard to solve some problems, and we're gonna to have to show grit and resilience to try and work through our problems. And we also have the Life Ready Graduate Program, which is filled with knowledge, skills, and dispositions that help us to know how to navigate life after we get out of school. There are so many options for things that you can do to be a maker, and that can include things like construction and working together and building and solving problems even in your elementary school classroom. And I'm here to help you learn about tools and skills and knowledge about building and making things so that you can take that and apply it to other areas in your life, maybe not just inside your classroom. So I wanna tell you a little story about my friend Jimmy. And my friend Jimmy is a maker, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Jimmy after I'm done reading this story. But this book is by an author named Tracy Bloom and Jimmy Duresta, and it's called I Make. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that to you right now. This story begins with a little boy whose parents gave him a simple toy, and from that toy he made two more and a sign to hang upon his door. The other kids didn't understand why Jimmy made his toys by hand when he could buy them from the store. Making things just seemed like such a bore. He made signs, he made teepees, and a house made of log for his favorite companion, his old faithful dog. He didn't want to play video games like the rest, when he could build real swords and a chest. Then one day something happened to shatter. Jimmy ran inside to see what was the matter. His mom's favorite picture frame happened to break, but he knew it was something he could easily make. So he ran to his shop and grabbed wood, stain, and glue, and in no time at all it looked good as new. His friend's bike was broken. The seat split in two. Jimmy ran to his shop and knew just what to do. He measured, he hammered, he carved up a seat and screwed it back into the bike nice and neat. 
He went to the field where baseball was played. The plastic bat broke and the game was delayed. Jimmy yelled out, I can make that. And so he made a nice wooden bat. He headed to the river to collect some more wood, where a sad old man hopelessly stood. I have an old friend that lives over there, but with no boat, I just sit here and stare. Oh, if only I could somehow just go, but I don't have a boat, and my legs are too slow. Jimmy ran home, grabbed a saw and some wood, chopped, cropped, and measured until it looked good. His hard work and effort had made the man's day. He cried tears of joy as he sailed away. Then a sharp knock came at his door. Do you happen to have room for one more? He gave his new friend a hammer and wrench, and she made her own table, and she made her own bench. To their surprise, another knock came. Seems the kids were bored of their video game. Can we come build things? It looks really cool. Jimmy said, sure, and gave each kid a tool. And from those tools they made much more. They built bridges and towers and opened a store. They rebuilt the town and made it look new. People came from all over just to pass through. They created and built things all on their own that would be around long after they were all grown. And so that was a story about my friend Jimmy. And I was going to... Oh, he, he's ready? Oh, okay, yeah. So I have somebody special to uh, say a quick hello. Hey everybody, just wanted to say hello and thank you to Dr. Bischoff for reading my book I make to the kids. Just wanna let you know I've been making stuff every single day since I was probably around seven or eight years old. And if you too make something every single day, you just get better and better and better and you can make it your career. Making things is fun. Thank you, Dr. Bischoff. And thank you guys. Thanks, Jimmy. So just like he was saying, you don't have to be an adult to be a maker. You can be a maker at any age. And other people that you might not think are makers are people like chefs, artists, musicians, video game designers, bakers, coders, writers, dancers, and so many more other things. What all these people have in common is they take something either raw ingredients or musical notes or personality and feelings and they make something new with it. So thanks for watching this little video about the Maker Bus. I can't wait to join you in your classroom and help you work on a project. We'll see you later.